What are you doing? Dance off, bro. What's up, guys? Nate here. Welcome to Brick Tech. Uh, I hope you're having a great, great day. I don't know about y'all, but I am. Uh, so I thought I'd go ahead and do a, a review. This is from two years ago. It's one of six Infinity War sets. This is the Lego Thanos, uh, Thanos <laughs> Ultimate Battle. It's uh, set number 76, uh, 76107, and it costs about $70. But I got it for a steal on Amazon. It's um, It was only about 50 or 55 bucks on Amazon when I got it. Guys, make sure before you buy a set on Bricklink or and have to compromise for no minifigures to get a good set or you you pay a fortune on eBay check Amazon first cuz they're they're where I buy almost all of my Legos um but this set uh, comes with three minifigures two that go in the cockpit one built up minifigure and a big fig and also the infinity gauntlet so let's hope Thanos doesn't snap anyone out of existence today. As with another set, uh, the Ghost and the Phantom, this is a combo set. So you, you can buy two Infinity War sets and combine them into one ship. See, it looks good, looks good. Then you turn around and it's got big empty space. And I'll move on to what set combines with this in a minute. I'll go ahead and start with the minifigures, then move on to the ship. Then I'll get the minifigures out that are inside the ship and, and uh, show you those. Let's go ahead and get into it, guys. Here's our first minifigure. This is Iron Man Mark 50. It seems just like yesterday, Iron Man 2 came out, and he was just on Mark, Mark 5. And now he's graduated all the way up to nanotech, jetpacks, and everything. As you can see, this minifigure is very, very built up. I mean, look, look at this. It's hard to get this in the shot. I mean, he's got the, uh, the set does come with a full arrangement of energy blasts, um, and it's really good addition, in my opinion. Uh, I really do love how they made this new piece for the Outriders and, um, Iron Spider, and with this set they made it, they, uh, utilized it for Iron Man. He has a double-sided face, one with a regular kind of smirking Tony Stark, and another one with the heads-up display, which I don't really understand, because you're only going to see his face if the helmet is up, but the heads-up display was only on when the helmet was down, and then you don't even see it at all, so I don't really know why they put that in there. You can give Iron Man these two energy uh, flame effects things, or you can give him these two energy blasts. Um, it's a really cool addition in my opinion. And I now see why they made this jetpack so huge. It looks like it's to balance out the weight between of Iron Man's back and his repulsor beams. I really, really, really want to see what these beams would do to Thanos. Uh, Ow. Wait a minute. All that for a drop of blood. Okay, I guess it didn't do too much damage to him. But uh, anyway, moving on, here we have the Mad Titan known as Thanos. He is very, very mean, very, very menacing. Not. I mean, he's got to be the biggest disappointment in a big fig ever. I mean, in the movie at the beginning of Infinity War, he was wearing his full body armor, which included this. And right after, right after he got the space stone, when he crushed the Tesseract, sorry about the spoilers if you haven't seen it, but I have, so I'm sorry. Um... But right after he crushed the Tesseract and got the Power Stone, I mean, I mean, the Space Stone, sorry, he took off his armor, including the headpiece. From the torso down, it's, it's, the rest, it's almost all of Infinity War. From the neck up, it's the very beginning. The eyes look like, more like the comic book version of him. And, 
it like I said is the probably the biggest disappointment of the century but moving on he also he does have a big sword and that's another huge 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 disappointment he did have a sword but it was in endgame plus it didn't have this single blade it that is this the right blade shape but it had double blades it had one out right here and it also had one that swung back sort of like Darth Maul in Marvel but I mean, I just really don't get it. My point is, LEGO could have done so much better with this minifigure. And I hate to say it like this, but it looks like they went the cheap way with it because they have had this mold in the past, just with different printing. And it looks like they, they just went the cheap way with it instead of doing a completely new mold. I LEGO, you're probably not, but if you're watching this, you could have done better. Why didn't you? But one cool thing is the Infinity Gauntlet. It can hold all six Infinity Stones. I have four Infinity War sets. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get the, the last two that had the Mind Stone and the Time Stone before they were retired. But I really tried. But I put them in order, so I have to... When I... Before I did this review, I had the Power Stone right here, Space Stone right here, and I still have the Reality Stone right there, and right there, I had the Soul Stone. You do also get a pretty cool stand to go with it. Uh, pretty, pretty good build. It's got stickers all the way around though, I don't like that. <laughs> they could have very easily printed those. Um, it does... It's trying to move at the base. Um, it looks like it can, but it can also move at the gauntlet by itself. Ooh, look at this, shiny. This could be useful. As you guys can see, the infinity gauntlet can be taken off the stand and he, his Thanos' left hand can be removed and they can both be combined to eat, make him an even more evil matter titan. Uh, praise the lord he doesn't have the all the infinity stones, so... No snapping for you! Here's a 360 view of the Guardian ship. And guys, if you don't know what this is called, it's not the Milano. This is a totally different ship. I've seen a lot of other YouTubers call this ship the, 20, the uh, 2018 version. Of the Milano. It's not the Milano. It, that one was named after Alyssa Milano, which was his crush when he was little. This one is named after Pat Benatar. Uh, another, I guess he's, she's done just another one of his crushes, but uh, this one's called the Benatar. It is a very nice build. Very easy. But as you can see, it this thing is huge. I mean, look. look. It's not even fitting in the camera. I mean, the thing just focused on this right here because it's so close. Um, it's crazy how big it is. Uh, there is a big empty space back here. I'll move on to that in a bit once I get once I get to the back. I'll show you what you can put there. But uh, moving on. It does, it looks like it has two thrusters there and there, but, uh, I mean, the Milano was long and, and, uh, tight-winged. It did not have a very big, uh, wingspan. But this one is the complete opposite. It's not as deep as the Milano, but it's huge. I'll start on the front here. Uh, this piece right here is very large it's built up it's completely brick built it has a nice curve on it it does use a completely curved piece on the front to give it some added shaping and uh the bubble cockpit right here can flip open and it is not a sticker right there it is it is printed and it has some purple pieces right here and if you flip the whole thing up, it reveals 
a little scooter. It's not a scooter, but it, it kind of looks like a scooter. And uh, it can hold Star-Lord's twin guns along with Gamora's uh, sword. It has a ball joint on the back that it latches in there with. And as you can see, it holds two guardians. And that brings us to our next two minifigures. First up, we have Star-Lord. He has a burgundy jacket. Well, I don't know if it's necessarily, necessarily burgundy. It looks burgundy to me. He also has a gray shirt underneath. A pretty menacing face, hair, and some stubble on the front, also with two twin blasters. He also has a double-sided face, which to me kind of looks like he's about to distract Thanos or Ronan or someone. What are you doing? Dance off, bro! Next up we have Gamora. Uh, she has very, very good printing. She also has golden highlights on her face, purple highlights in her hair and a uh, very, very, very holy katana. Uh, if you don't, if you didn't get that, I'll tell you in the comments below. If, if you leave a com, just leave a comment down below if you don't understand that joke, I'll reply to you. Um, she also has some nice texture on the katana uh, handle itself, and some printing on the back. She cannot move her head along with her hair so, so if you want to move her face you have to you cannot move her hair with her face speaking of faces she has also a double-sided face with Gamora you bend her legs all the way up and put her on there like that and then lean her back a little bit and with Star Lord you flip his legs all the way up then flip his hands up a little put, put him right there put his hands down to the level of the bars and put them just like that and once you have them like that you can just snap it in the Benatar there is some grooves in here that the that this goes in between and you can see a red two by two by one clip in there that actually grabs onto the ball joint I think that's a new system they've come up with and in my opinion it's a pretty good system because it works perfectly these struts right here or it, for the sake of the video I'm just gonna call them struts I don't know what they're actually called but they right these right here do have some movement in them you can move them up a little uh, they have them on both sides and they also have lights on both sides there are also two stud shooters on the wing tips. All you have to do is to fire them is press down on the gray areas. I almost forgot to show you guys something. Right there is a sticker. And I guess it's meant to re uh, represent like consoles or maybe even a spatial speedometer. On both wing tips it has curves right here, but only the right one has a sticker. There's also a rather large plate on the top with a disc right here that has like an emblem on it that is a sticker, but if you lift this whole thing off, it reveals the inside. It has two seats in the back for Drax and Mantis, but that's another downside to this set. This is a great set, but there were a lot of mistakes ma made. First, they made a mistake with the wrong Thanos. Then, they didn't put Drax and Mantis in this set, which is a big bummer. Plus, with the ultimate Thanos battle, the scene when they were on Titan in Infinity War, Gamora wasn't with them. And that's, that's supposed to represent the this set is supposed to re represent that scene, yet it has Gamora. That's just a little nitpicky part of me, but moving on. Beside each of those seats, it has curved pieces. I guess it's to, it sort of makes like an oval shape that lead, leads into the main cockpit. And on either side, these right here, there's four of these, but only two of them have stickers. And they are stickers. Uh, but it does give us some detailing. 
I wish they had added the Zune player right here. But it is what it is. To put this plate back on, it's only held on by two studs on either side. What you have to do is put it in place, then push it down, then hold the front down and push down e all three of these plates. This piece right here does get in the way of the third one a little bit for me. On the tips of the wings, these right here can move up and down independently of each other. I like to keep them like that. And they can do it on either side. But the gray one on both sides does have some more plating uh, than the orange one. The orange one's actually kind of naked. These vents right here do move up and down a little bit. And they are vents. They just clip right on. And these right here, I guess they're energy or anti-gravity things that help it hover. I just call them anti-gravity things. That's how I roll. But uh, they are held on by a single 2 by They're both held on, held on by a single 2 by 2 with a Technic piece in the middle. And it has two disc pieces. And it just slides in, into the middle of them and snaps onto the wing. This set, as you can see, has a lot of rear-facing fins. It has two big ones right here, two small ones right here, and four two-by-threes on either side, or two on either side. There's four in total that help it give, give it some more of that strut-like feeling. These pieces right here can move up and down a little bit, but the main thing back here, you notice, are these. And I guess they're like supposed to be air brakes for space. I'm just gone. <laughs> space brakes! But uh, they are a little bit bare. I wish they had built them up a little more, but that's something you can very easily do with some spare bricks. This piece right here can flip down as well. You just move these out of the way along with these. It can be a bit tricky. Sometimes you. There's a sweet spot. There it is. And it reveals the inside. You can actually see all the way up to the scooter cockpit. But the main thing back here is you can take the Infinity Gauntlet on its stand, slide it in here, and, it's, and it can be held on by a single stud. And Thanos will never snap his fingers. As I stated before, there is something you can do with the back here. And if you have the uh, Thor's Weapon Quest set. You're going to take the pod and slide it in between these right here. First you have to flip those up. Then slide it in between the fins. <laughs> I was unprepared for this sketch. Hold on. I'll time lapse this for you. Okay, there we go. Now, once you have these up, you slide this right in here. And you're going to notice three holes at the bottom of the Benatar. And you just, there's also three pins at the bottom, or at the, yeah, at the bottom of the pod. So you just line them up. You want uh, make sure they're in the right positions. Alright, that's right. And flip these right here down, then latch these onto the pod. And it's very, very sturdy and it makes it the ship look complete honestly guys how much better does that look and if you have seen my review of the ghost or the phantom if you haven't go look at that set review on my channel and you will know that i love combining sets or sets that combine into one big one and they Lego did a very good job of that here. Uh, one downside of that, of the Ghost and the Phantom, is the Phantom is nowhere near as sturdy as this is connected to the Benatar. And if you want more Lego, stay tuned on this channel for my review of Thor's Weapon Quest. It will be coming soon. I'm, I've got four Infinity War sets that I'm doing. Like I said earlier, I wish I could have gotten all six of them, but still four is pretty good that's almost a complete infinity gauntlet but uh i'm gonna do this one next 
Then I'm probably gonna do the uh, Hulkbuster from 2018. Then I'm gonna do the the uh, Outrider Dropship Attack, and uh, then I'll move on to some other sets. Probably probably another set I'm gonna do in September is a Star Wars set. I'm not gonna tell you what it is. It's on pre-order, so you'll have to stay tuned. And subscribe if you want to see that video, because I can tell you right now, it's going to be a good video. All in all, guys, this is a pretty good set. I mean, I uh, I wouldn't pay $70 for it, but I didn't pay $70 for it. I only paid about $50. But, um, $70 is a bit overpriced for what you get, because you, you get a comic book version of Thanos, not an MCU version. Plus, the scene that this set is made after in the movie... Gamora wasn't even in, yet Gamora is in this set. And Drax and Mantis were in that scene, yet they're not in this set. So the ones that should be in the set aren't, and the one and the one that shouldn't be is. So other than that, guys, that's a pretty good deal. I mean, plus if you get the the Thor's weapon quest, I would definitely recommend getting that one, because without it, it's just a big empty spot. Uh, just like the ghost, that's the deal with a lot of, um, combination sets. But, uh, that's pretty much gonna wrap this video up. Uh, make sure you click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell down in the description below. And I'll see you next... Oh no. Did you just snap your fingers? Uh huh. Oh no.